Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. Make sure you press the like button on this video and subscribe if you're into digital asset news and also comment down below what your favorite color is. The first tweet of the day comes from Crypto Eri, Sento Sumo Saba on Twitter. She posted, XRP Army is everywhere. Tonight, a beautiful lie a beautiful dinner, and beautiful people. And if you don't know who Crypto Ari is, she is a very popular crypto YouTuber, Twitter Ari, and also a very, very famous XRP person. Now, in this picture, it's Crypto Ari next to a Toyota, pretty big car, with a Hawaiian Aloha State plate with the letters XRP on there. It's a pretty rare plate, pretty cool to get that, and also a very lovely picture. The second tweet comes from The Bearable Bull. He said, Ladies and gentlemen, I just cried. Never in my life has anything ensured the inevitable than this video. This is all but confirmed that XRP will be used to restabilize the global financial system in the event of a systemic or systemic breakdown. I hope you guys see it too. Our time is now. And this comes from UKG or UKQ and also tagged our Kevin Cage and the Bearable Bull. In this video, she says that an important thing to these liquid markets is resilience and being able to come back from big market shocks. So whenever a big market shock happens, you of course need to be able to automatically stabilize or even if the shock happens, not be so dented and in this case here she says that the ability to pop back to pop all the order books pop the market back into normal ways of going is is resilience is what normal liquid markets need and what xrp could most likely help for to restabilize the bearable bull also said on twitter pretty funny but he said xrp could help and then there's a picture to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. <laughs> I actually laughed a lot when I saw this the first time, just because I do find it interesting how the dots can be connected in this regard, though most likely there are a, a couple people making uh, some jokes out of this, because there's no official thing here at all, but it's an interesting thought to have. And then the complete opposite side of the spectrum not talking about xrp helping this out or anything like that it actually is something completely different it is kevin cage who said on twitter if we don't hit 50 cents before april 1st i will quit xrping this shocked me because first of all i hope he doesn't quit if it doesn't hit 50 cents and second of all, that's a ridiculous amount of money that we need to get then. I mean, it needs to go from nine and a half billion or about 10 billion market cap to about $20 billion in market cap to achieve a price of about 46, maybe even 50 cents. That's a big increase we're going to be needing, guys. It's a big leap that we're going to be needing and it's not nothing for, for this to occur. So, Kevin, I don't know exactly why a statement like this was appropriate. I think it is just to reel more people in of saying like, all right, we're going to be doing good. If it doesn't, I would quit. Though, he also posted a video on YouTube, which I just checked out for you guys. Pretty cool video. Actually, a really huge amount of useful info within the video. But he ends it off here with, with quite an interesting story to it all. Well, kind of the conclusion that he makes is XRP at this height is already doing so good. He's been bullish on XRP last year, but this year, once upon a time again, he's being really bullish with the coin. Now, why is he being so bullish? Because most likely we're going to be doing good. It can be seen in all that they're achieving right now. And most likely there's not even a single split of doubt necessary in this case. So even though he was bullish last year, he is bullish here again. And he actually recommends people to add a little bit of XRP to their portfolio if they do not have any. 
I do respect that. I do get that. And I, I would to a big extent actually agree with him that I think it is smart for people to always diversify. And since XRP is solving such a real world problem, I do think it is worth the bet. And I do think an investment in it would be a pretty wise decision. There are good chances they're going to be really popping off, especially when we're talking about real quantity, real numbers, real liquidity. They're going to be a big player in all of this. I'm actually assuming that these three to four digits, zero doubt, are actually for the amount of partners that they're going to be having. If we actually calculate all the partners that they've been having, I don't know what it's going to get to, but we know they already have three digits and it's going to get to four digits eventually and maybe already this year at the end, maybe beginning of next year, but it is going to be coming up really quickly. And of course, the three to the four digits here will most likely refer to the price saying as in, I guess, you know, we're, we're, we're four digits. We're actually like six digits, but it's behind the zero or <laughs> behind the period. But eventually, with all these partnerships, with all these integrations, with all this liquidity, there's many people who are like, all right, because of all of this, we will increase in price. Now, there are possibilities for it, guys. Don't get me wrong. There are possibilities, but we just have to see. Now, the reason I actually decided to make this video still today was because the bearable bull here actually gives quite a good reply to the video I made earlier. The video I made earlier was kind of putting up the question of, are we there? Is this a big market crash? Is this where everything hits the fan? Is this where it all goes wrong or where, where panic really takes over and such? And I, I have not released a video yet, so I don't know what the critics are going to be like, what the general <laughs> people are going to be thinking about it. But I do know for a fact that what Bearable Bull stated here is quite contrary to the, the general general thoughts that people are having the general rule of no not rule of thumb the general general yeah i guess opinion of the people at this point there's so much fear but this is actually such a de-escalation that this is all but confirmed that xrp will be used to re-stabilize the global financial system in the event of a systemic breakdown i mean the the thought is there it it actually sounds really quite amazing if you say it like that and it's really kind of crazy that we we might not even have to worry so much in, of course, a longer period of time if XRP really does what it potentially could be doing. At least the resilience is, is what it needs, is what it's meant for, most likely. I personally cannot tell you guys exactly yet how much of an influence it will have on all of this. But in this video of Kevin Cage, he also actually showcases the amount of partnerships and then tries to speculate with us as well on how many partnerships are maybe to come or maybe are already because literally if you check twitter every single day at this point you will find another integration of xrp and i'm talking either ripple net and then specifically possibly odl you could possibly find every couple of days maybe ripple net possibly every day but then i'm also talking about xrp getting listed on exchanges xrp getting another project up on there in Ripple Drop, they're also announcing so many new cool things like David Schwartz just said and everything that I covered in my previous video just now. There's so much cool to come. There's so much going on right now. Where is this stop going to be? And I think that's also what a lot of these guys like to show us that we don't need to be so grummy with all of this. The prices are going to do good. And if it don't, don't quit though. <laughs> like he's just saying here, like XRP Al just came in like, oh, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a pretty interesting situation to it all but i i personally think it might just be an april 1st joke uh the, this whole this whole situation don't know quite yet though could be a second quarter of the year we need to hit 50 cents go big or go home it, it's a little bit of a mystery to me i i don't personally agree with this i personally also don't think it's a smart decision to Put the estimation so high, it's a 100% increase or even 120% decrease possibly in the span of about a month, a month and a, a month and a couple of days, a month, let's say about a month, and it's, it's just really a lot. And also, like, I think he, he do, I don't remember exactly his name on Twitter, but in my previous video, I also showed you guys Eduardan or something like that, that 
there is a chance that they're going to take this whole crisis scenario a little bit further and that we're going to be seeing these lower prices for a little while. There is a chance. There is definitely a chance. 3Tech also being serious here and saying, save yourself the trouble and, and quit now because eh, we don't know. Might as well happen. Might as well not happen. Nobody will be able to tell. I personally wouldn't count your odds there or call your odds just because it's not worth the risk. But hey, everybody their own opinion. If you agree with anything that you saw within this video or you thought it was cool, make sure you press the like button. Even if you're just into digital assets or anything like that, make sure you press the like button and also comment down below what you think of the whole situation and make sure you subscribe for more daily crypto content. This was DustyBC and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, the DustyBC as well. And I'll see you guys again in another one, guys. Take care.